All right, welcome to video number two. Now we are going to learn how to write out 192.168.11.225, which is a number, an IP address I just decided to choose. And we're going to learn how to write it out in binary. And this will give you at least a better understanding of how this works. Now this chart here has eight bits. We discussed this in the first one. Each of these bits has the same value as you move that chart between the first, second, third, and fourth octets. What we're trying to do is determine which bits go on, which bits go off, so we have a value that equals 192 or 168 or 11 or 225. So I don't have a full board, and the main reason that I'm doing it this way if I was doing on the board, then you might be paying attention to me, not so much the numbers and the math. And I find this was a better method of teaching it. So the first thing we're going to do, we try to determine how to come up with 192. Always start at the left. Because what we're going to try and do is see if that value at the left will go into our IP address in that first octet. We'll do that in each of the octets as we move through. So the first one we're looking at, well, we know that 128 will go into 192. So we're going to turn that first bit on. It's going to leave a value of 64. Now, I'm going to go do some of the stuff that some of you are going to go, that's obvious. I know the next one. If you're real comfortable with this, move on to the next video, learn some of the rules, and we will move forward from there. This I'm doing for the people who struggle with math. They see it visually, it makes a lot more sense to them. So, the next one is 64. Well, 64 goes into 64, leaving, leaving us a value of 0. That's what we're trying to achieve. We cannot use a negative number. So, if it ends up with a negative number, we don't use that one. You just turn it off. You use a 0 in that place. Well, we've already achieved 192. So, the next 6 bits are off. And we're going to put a dot there to represent the very first octet. And I'm going to write out here to the next, hey, that is 192. So now we're going to have to start all over again. Because now we're working with the second octet. And if you look at the second octet, it is 168. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start out and see, will 128 go into 168? Sure it will it's going to leave a value of 40. So the next one is the 64 bit. And we have to determine, will 64 go into 40? Well, no, that's not going to work real well, so we are going to turn that bit off. Well, the next one, we still have a value of 40, is the 32 bit. And we have to determine, will 32 go into 40? Sure it will. That bit is on. It is going to leave you a value of 8. Well, your next bit happens to be the 16 bit. And it's kind of obvious that 16 is not going to go into 8, so you're going to turn that bit off. And yes, I know some of you are already going, okay, I got it now. So once you get this theory, just you know, under you know how this works, move on to the next one. It'll help you. All right, so 8 goes into 8. You know that bit's on. Leaves you a value of 0, so the next three bits are off. That's how you write out 168 in binary. Now, I know some people, I've taught this to other people, they've struggled with math, they've come back, and it's like, can we start over again? That's why I'm putting this in a video. And the reason I'm doing it the way I'm doing it is they struggle with math, they see it a couple times, it'll help them. Right, the next one's 11, and yes, you know where we can start, but we're going to go through this for just everybody, all right? So 128 will not go into 11, so that very first bit is off. And of course, the next bit happens to be 64, and it's kind of obvious that 64 is not going to go into 11, so we're going to turn it off. And the next one, now the reason I'm not writing the negative value down there, I'm just saying it's going to be zero, okay? So your next one is the 32-bit. And you know 
32 is not going to go into 11. So we're going to turn that bit off. And now we're down to the 16 bit. And you already know, yeah, 16 is not going to go into 11. So we're going to turn that bit off, leaving us down to the 8, where we can finally start turning some bits on. So we know that 8 will go into 11. And it's going to leave you a value of 3. Well, you're obviously you look at the next one, and we're looking at 4. And you know that 4 is not going to go into 3. So you're going to turn that one off. Well, your next one, you still have that value of 3. But now you're down to the 2 bit. We already know, but we're going to put it here just in case. 2 will go into 3, leaving you a value of 1, so you turn that on, and now you're down to 1. And that next bit happens to be the 1 bit. And 1 from 1 will leave you 0, so you can turn that bit on, put your dot there, and that's how you write out 11 in binary. Now let's go to the very last octet, and we're going to start out the same way we've done the other three octets. But the value we're starting to work with here is 225. We know that 28 is going to go into 225, leaving you a value of 97. So turn that one on and move on. So the next one is a 64-bit, and we're still working with 97 now. So we're going to see, will 64 go into 97? Sure it will. It's going to leave you 33. So the next one we're going to look at is going to be the 32-bit. It looks like I'm going to have to change this one real quick. And we're going to do 32. And this one's going to leave you a value of 1. Somehow it got erased on my chart that I was using. So we know that one's on. Well, it's kind of obvious that we're left with one. We know that the 16-bit is not going to go in. We know that the 8-bit's not going to go into one. Four, no. Two, no. One, yes. And we're at our value of zero, which is how you write out 225 in binary. Now, to write this out in full binary, it's not all that hard, okay? You know this. Six. That is... 192 in binary, and then 10101123. There's your 168, and then the first four bits, and then 1011. There's your dot 11, and then your 225. The first three are on, the next four are off, and that's how you write out 225. Right there is 192.168.11.225. Dot 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 right on to the next video for some of the rules of subnetting.